Sahar Varadi is an Israeli student activist who is no stranger to pro-Palestinian anti-war protests. But she says in recent weeks, the abuse coming from her fellow Israelis has taken a sinister turn. We were sh first of all told that we're cause of the Arabs, things that are very, we're used to at this point, but also people saying that they hope a rocket hits our house, they hope um, that, there's, that, we, that there's a holocaust against us specifically. <laughs> Sahar was at this protest in Tel Aviv last week when things turned ugly. You're a traitor, you're a killer, this man shouts, directed at the Israeli left-wing protesters calling for an end to the Israeli occupation. Dozens were arrested that night. Tensions have always existed between the left and the right in Israel, but left-wing protesters say right-wing activists appear more organised now and that they seem to have an increasing sense of legitimacy among Israelis. It's pictures like these released by the military that add to the Israeli support for the campaign in Gaza. Tunnels are destroyed and soldiers walk through the rubble. Many Israelis feel that those who are against military action don't understand the threat. I say to our nice spirited Israelis, if they want, they can go to Gaza. Here in this country, it is not possible to live in peace. There are missiles, they are kidnapping our soldiers, they kill us, they dig tunnels to reach the same houses of those who support them. Sahar says she'll continue to protest, even if her neighbours don't understand. The idea of Israelis protesting this is, I think, very confusing for a lot of Israelis and it's much easier to categorise us as traitors or, you know, people who are for the other side than actually listen to us. Being labelled an outsider, she says, is a small price to pay in the face of so much suffering. Kim Vanell, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.